everything. All right, guys, we are back in Codecademy. They have a new HTML and CSS course out called Learn HTML and CSS Part 1. Uh, making the assumption there will be a Part 2, probably a little bit harder and more in-depth. Um, just got done doing a little bit of angular studying and needed a bit of a breather. I haven't done this section yet, but I shouldn't have a problem working through it. So let's go ahead and jump right into part one, HTML fundamental structure. Now, um, chances are you're probably very new to HTML. HTML is really the building blocks of websites. It's where everything goes. You're going to know, need to know HTML to be a web developer as you move forward. It stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's basically, it's basically used with everything. <laughs> That's the gist of it when it comes to a website. So there's no way around it. So be prepared to know HTML in and out. CSS is the styling. This may be swapped out for something else that CSS based at its core, but uh, you may hear things like SAS or LESS or other um, styling languages. But uh, CSS is for styling, HTML is for the like content. Now let's go ahead and jump right in. So what we're going to do here, we have this example website. Um, it's obviously very beautiful, we didn't even do anything with it. So we're looking for the H1 tags. Oh, they don't have one in here. So in the, or here it is. So this H1 is a heading tag. That's why this font is so big. We're gonna go ahead and change the content of this heading tag. And we're gonna go ahead and put in the channel name Coding Tutorials 360. Now when we run this, you'll notice that our content here has changed. Now, um, there's a little bit of a mumbo jumbo here. This doc type HTML, it's basically just what you put at the top of the document to state that it is an HTML document. It's required for everything. So um, you just have to kind of memorize that. So we'll do that like so. Exclamation point, doc type HTML. And you won't use this for anything else. It's always gonna be the first line of your code. It's where the HTML starts and it states the HTML is of this type. Basically, it's just start that at the first line. That's all you really have to know. So yeah, see right here, it'll tell you it plans on using the HTML in the document. So that's all it's saying is, hey, we're gonna use HTML. Now, when we're actually going to do the HTML, we have to include the HTML tags. Let me jump down to the instructions here. So this is basically, where all our HTML is going to go. All our HTML is contained within here, and you're going to need to do this. Now, granted, you're not going to see any change. We're really just setting it up at this point. What happened to my HTML tags? HTML. And then we'll go ahead and close the HTML document as well. Let's go to run that. There we go. Now it gives us this nice, um, this nice breakdown. Let's go ahead and go over it. So what we have here, this whole thing is the element. So this is a paragraph a tag, and there's certain things that go along with paragraph. So most tags have an opening tag and a closing tag. Start the paragraph here, end the paragraph here. That's basically the entire uh, element. Now. That's not for everything as of HTML5, which I believe this is covering HTML5. So, but for most things, they'll have a closing tag. And then you have the content of that tag within here, or of multiple tags, because you, you can have tags within tags. So let's go ahead and move forward. So now that we have the basics of our document set up, we have something called a head tag. Now, what is a head tag used for? A head tag has a opening tag and a closing tag. The head tag is really to store all of the resources you're gonna be using. So you may be making calls to CSS files, JavaScript files, you may be importing fonts, 
you may be importing other files um, you may be adding a few things like um, an icon for your web page uh, that like little square icon next to the heading you may add a title or a name uh, a title for the uh, browser bar uh, tab for the tab the name of the tab that's really what the head is for it's really nothing that's going to display on the page but may be used on the page so the title is an example as I was saying right here so the title tag you can only uh, you only need one of these because you can only have one title for your page similar to like look at our Gmail here it has inbox dash my email that is your title that's the title that we're talking about so we'll go ahead and what's it does it want us to put anything we'll go ahead and do HTML dash coding tutorials we'll, do, we'll shorthand this CT360 let's go ahead and run that And you'll see right here they give us a nice example you'll see we have a blank icon here so chances are we're going to be learning that probably coming up but this is what we just set in our HTML so we have our uh, they don't have it on here for whatever reason this is also referred to as the boilerplate code um, the reason they they talk about they they even bring that up is later on you may actually be using custom integrations that will that will uh, be doing this whole header section for you in a different format but that's that's way too advanced for right now now the next section that we have is a body tag what is a body tag the body tag is all of your HTML content, for the most part, goes within the body. It's where everything's kind of contained. And it's a, it's a built-in element of the HTML, um, live, the HTML framework, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and run this. So we're going to go ahead and add the body here. Now, it doesn't have to go all in the body, but that's the general, the general rule of thumb. So what did we learn in our first uh, section here? Learn HTML and CSS. We learned that you need to declare the doc type so uh, it knows that it's going to be HTML. We learned that we have to have an HTML opening tag and an HTML closing tag for that contains all our HTML. We learned that the heading section is for various resources to be called and to set um, a few things such as the title. And we learn the title and then we learn the body where the bulk of the visible HTML code goes. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And a special thanks to you who support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So I just did an outro. And apparently we're not done with uh, this final section. My bad. And so we will instead skip the outro at that point. But we will uh, go ahead and get started here. So we're going to declare the doc type like so. so. We'll do it step by step. Run it. We then need to state that we're doing it, that we're, we're going to be putting some HTML tags in here like so. Go ahead and run that. So basically this is where our HTML, we're learning this setup right now. We're going to have a header. Uh, you always have a head. This is where all our resources go for the most part. You can also do things like setting the title. Oh. We'll go ahead, we'll get ahead of it. We're gonna go ahead and set the title as well. And we'll put some stuff like, uh, what's my title? My title at work is Web Engineer, so there we go, a little pun. And then finally, we'll go ahead and add uh, some body tags outside of the head. The body does not go within the head, because this is where our content 
will be going. Just in case we get a weird thing. And then we're going to go ahead and put a H1 tag, a heading tag. And H1 tags go anywhere from H1 to H6. By default, H1 is the largest, then gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And then we'll go ahead and put in the content for this, hello world. And let's go ahead and run that one more time. There we go. And now we are done. So we'll skip an outro since I'm going to leave it in the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front-end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. Tuition includes housing, so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.